Uh, good evening. Thank you for coming and joining uh, East Side Zoom Yoga. You can hear the uh, sirens. Uh, I'm going to mute everybody. If you can't hear me, uh, you'll probably have to put it on your speaker uh, in case you're not doing that. I've said that before. Uh, my favorite uh, green army jacket I got like a, many decades ago, I traded it for some guitar electronics. My friend traded me this jacket. I've worn it many, many, many winters and the lining is starting to get torn on the inside. And one of the pockets had a tiny little hole. So I said, well, it's still in pretty good shape. And I thought, well, might as well save the planet and not just throw shit out and get something new. So I took it to the tailor and they said to replace the lining, $200. <laughs> and I I thought, oh, I, don't, I said, couldn't you just patch them and just, just do it? And eventually after some negotiating, they said they could do that for a hundred. I'm like, I can buy a new jacket for 200. And uh, it's a shame because I, I really, I think I'm gonna maybe sew it myself and just uh, keep it in, and see what happens. But um, it was strange that it's a different time in the world, I think. Uh, I think uh, we used to be able to get things sewn up and then just keep using them and uh, recycling and recycling. That's what I'm going to do anyways, but I'm going to do it myself. I still might buy a new jacket. Who knows? But not one like that. Thank you for coming. We're going to start from the seated position. So I'm going to scoot back a little bit or maybe a lot. And we can cross the legs nice and easy. Well, I should have done this one close up, but I want to do the hands together with the fingers intertwined, put palms pushing all the way together, and we're going to rotate at the wrists here. One direction, please, at first. The core can be a little bit engaged. We can begin breathing in and out through the nose, becoming aware of the breathing more than anything else. Good, and then go the opposite direction uh, with the uh, hands, working the wrists here, breathing. Just a little bit more, I got a crack in the left wrist, a little sound. Great, let's reach the right arm all the way up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna bring that hand down the back. Left hand can grab the elbow. You could come around the back, it's early for that if you wanted to intertwine the fingers. We're gonna push the head against the arm, pulling the core uh, in, breathing in the nose. And we wanna be staring straight forward. So you gotta push the head back into the arm as much as the arm will give you space to do that. Excellent, let's do the other side, left hand up and then down the back. Again, we grab the elbow, head pushes against the arm, breathing here, around the, whatever you did on the other side, if you came around the back, that's uh, great. Very nice. We're going to put the right hand down on the ground or the mat, about maybe like a foot out from our hip. We're going to keep the right arm straight and the left palm will face the sky here initially. And we're going to come up and over. Then you can look up along the elbow to the ceiling and we're going to take several breaths here, reaching long and feel your left hip kind of magnetically locking down to the earth as we keep reaching with that left hand. Great, let's do the other side. So the left hand down, right palm faces the ceiling initially, up and over. Again, uh, both arms straight and the whole right side straight as the right hip locks to the earth and we keep reaching and breathing.
Excellent. Uh, let's stand. I'm going to back up some. Once standing, we'll have the feet about the distance of the uh, hips, core in, and we're going to swing the arms forward. We'll keep breathing. We keep that core engaged. And then we're going to swing the arms backwards. And across the front, we we'll switch the hand that goes on top. Excellent. Hands on the hips. We swing the hips around one direction at first. Excellent. Opposite direction. Back to center, we're gonna step the right foot directly over the left, and we're gonna forward fold, but not all the way. So just forward fold so that the hands are not touching the ground. So as far as you wanna go, as long as the hands are not touching the ground. And then we're gonna circle in the hands, activating the shoulders a little bit. And then we'll stay in the forward fold, but switch the feet. So left steps over right or whatever the opposite is for you. And then new movement, pendulum uh, with the uh, arms. Excellent. We're going to stand, feet together, big toes touching, ankles a little bit apart, thumbs out is real nice on the shoulders, and we're going to start. We're going to breathe in, reach up and look up. We're going to breathe out, forward folding, attempting to keep the legs straight. The hands don't have to get on the ground. Great if they do. Otherwise, on the shins, we're going to look up, shoulder blades together, forward fold on the out breath, all the way back up to the ceiling, reaching out and up. Hands in prayer come down through the heart center. We're going to push into the earth and circle all the way back up, breathing in, breathing out, forward fold, and again, fingers low. We look up, flatten the back, forward fold on the out breath, all the way back up. We sweep the hands in prayer up to prayer to the moon, down through the heart center with the hands in prayer, all the way back up, breathing in again through the nose. Breathing out through the nose, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, flatten the back, forward fold, out breath, up again to the sky, down through the heart center, all the way back up on the in breath. Breathing out, forward folding. We're going to look up, and from here, we're going to step back, top push up. Belly and legs tight. We're going to hold here for a moment. And when you're ready, we're going to lower down or drop down. We roll forward, up dog, tight legs, and then down dog, pulling up and back. So feet about two fists apart. We're going to step the feet out a little bit, bending one leg, pushing the opposite heel towards down. And step your way to the top of the mat, feet back together, fingers low. We look up, shoulder blades together. Forward fold, out breath, back up to the ceiling with the hands in prayer above the head, down through the heart center, 
all the way back up, breathing in. Breathing out again, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, flatten the back. We step in again, top push up, we lower or drop. Up dog <clears throat> and down dog. You could stay still, feet two fists apart, or if you like, up on the toes on the in breath, down with the heels on the out breath. Hands fully on the mat, middle fingers straight forward. Great step or jump, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, we forward fold, all the way back up, reaching out and up. Hands in prayer again, come down through the heart center and back up on the in-breath. Breathing out, forward folding. We look up, flat back. We step in again, top of push up. We lower and drop, up dog and down dog. Very nice, we're gonna breathe here. We're looking at knees or navel. And step or jump, top of the mat, toes together. We look up and we forward fold. All the way back up, prayer to the ceiling. We're gonna stay here for a moment if you wanna arch back. And then we'll bring the arms again right down at the sides. So big toes touching, ankles a little bit apart. We sit in chair, cracking ankle. Up over, forward fold, fingers low again. We look up, we stepping back, top of push up. We lower, drop, up dog, down dog. Warrior one on the right, right foot steps almost to the toes, to the wrist of the hand that's up there. Left foot turns out flat. We're gonna come up with the arms up to the ceiling. We're gonna push into the left foot and reach the left shoulder forward through a reaching left hand. We take a couple of breaths here. Very nice, touch the ceiling and again, Hands back down, stepping back. We lower, drop, up dog, down dog. Left foot stepping, right foot turns out. Good, we're gonna push into the right foot and reach the right shoulder forward through the fingers, through the reaching arm. Breathing in the nose. All right, we touch the ceiling again, and hands back down, stepping back. We lower, drop, up dog, and down dog. And we're gonna breathe here. Good, step or jump, top of the mat, feet back together, fingers low, we look up, we forward fold, feet and knees sitting in chair again, and standing shoulders back, tight core. Excellent, let's continue, we sit in chair, and up and over, forward folding, we look up, we stepping again, top of push up, lower drop, up dog, and down dog, right foot, warrior one again, and back up. This time, torso, of course, squaring forward, hands in prayer up above the head. We're gonna look up, we're gonna pull the core in and up. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Right, hands back down, stepping back. We lower, drop, up dog, down dog. And uh, left foot stepping, right foot turns out. Again, hands in prayer up above the head. Core in and up, looking up. Great, 
hands back down, step back, we lower drop, up dog, and down dog. We're gonna breathe here. Good, step jump, top of the mat, toes together. We look up and we forward fold, feet and knees sitting in chair and standing shoulders back, tight core. Very nice, we're just gonna do one more tonight. We sit in chair again. Excellent, up over, forward folding. We look up, flatten the back, step in, top of push up again, lower drop, up dog. Down dog, uh, warrior one on the right, right foot steps, left foot turns out, hands in prayer again above the head, core in and up, looking up, maybe arching back. If you arch back, lift the heart, right, hands back down, stepping back, we lower drop, up dog, down dog. Left foot stepping, right foot turns out. Again, hands in prayer above your head. Core in and up. Arching back, lifting the heart if you like. Great, hands back down. We step back, time push up, lower drop, up dog, and down dog. We stay here. And step, jump, top of the mat. We look up, we forward fold. Let's sit in chair with the cactus arms. And we're gonna take the right elbow outside of the left uh, knee. Make sure that left knee comes back forward so the knees are on the same line as the front of your mat. Hands in prayer, pulling towards the sternum, fingers to the face. We're gonna stay here. You are welcome to open the arms if you like. And let's forward fold and just hang for a moment with the legs straight. And then we sit in chair again with the cactus arms. And now we're going to take the left elbow outside the right. With that right knee came back, roll it forward. So both the feet and the knees are square at the top of the mat. And we breathe here. Uh, forward fold, take the feet apart, distance of the hips. We'll grab the elbows and we're just gonna hang, let the head really come down towards the earth. Let's engage the core. We'll come all the way up and touch the ceiling. And then all the way back down, bringing uh, peace fingers under big toes with the thumbs touching, elbows pulling away from the ears, top of the head down. Good, up again to the ceiling, and then down again, uh, hands under feet from the front, toes touching the crease in the wrist. You can pull up on the feet if you like, top of the head towards down.
All right, let's stand top of the mat if you're not already. Feet back together, big toes touching, ankles apart. Shoulders back, we're gonna take just a moment. All right, let's sit in chair. Good, up over into the forward fold again. We look up, flatten the back. We step in, time to push up. We lower, drop, up dog, down dog. Uh, right side, please, warrior two. Right foot steps, left foot turns out. Knee over the ankle. Warrior two, for me, has a little bit longer stance than warrior one. We we'll drop the shoulders and hold the core, looking at the right hand, breathing in the nose. We're going to take a few breaths right here. Let's straight the leg in the front. We're gonna reach out uh, for triangle, right hand down, left arm up. You can look to the reaching hand or you can look straight down to the foot. Let's place both hands on the shin. I would shorten the stance a couple of inches. It's up to you. We're going to twist triangle. Left hand will remain down, maybe back of the hand outside of the leg. Right arm up. Feet flat, legs straight. If your hand gets on the ground, great. We're going to breathe here. Good, hands down again, stepping back. We lower, drop, up dog, down dog. We're gonna do a left side stepping warrior two, back up. We'll take a few breaths here like we did on the other side. Core engaged, shoulders dropping, looking at the left hand. And uh, straight the leg in the front, and we're going to reach out a bit, and left hand down, triangle. We breathe here. Right, both hands on the shin, we shorten the stance, twisting triangle, right hand down, left arm up. Right, hands down again, stepping back, we lower drop, up dog, down dog. Again, warrior two on the right, right foot steps back up and take a couple of breaths, no rush. And when you're ready, forearm on the leg, left arm up and over. You could put the right hand down, this extended side angle. We're gonna keep breathing. With the arm on the leg, we look up along the elbow to the ceiling. If the hand goes on the ground, you look a little forward to the reaching hand. Back to warrior uh, two. You're welcome to keep the back foot flat. We're gonna do the twist. I'm gonna come to the ball of the foot. You could do that too. Left arm comes all the way forward outside of the leg. Hands in prayer, pull in towards the chest, fingers to the face. We're going to breathe here. Right, hands down again, stepping back, lower drop, 
up dog, down dog, uh, left foot uh, warrior two. So we're on the other side now. Let's take a couple of breaths on this one. Forearm on the leg, right arm up and over. Hand on the ground if that's what you did on the other side. Back to warrior two. Uh, you're welcome to come to the ball of the foot. We're swinging through. Elbow outside of the leg. We're going to stay here. Great, hands down, let's step back. We lower drop, up dog, and down dog. So I'm gonna use a right foot to step in the horse, but whichever direction you need to face, we we'll step one foot up so that we can be facing if you need to see the device. Toes slightly splayed. We're gonna push the walls out tonight. We're gonna to take several breaths right here. Knees are opening out, breathing in the nose. Excellent, let's stand. We'll turn the feet now to run straight forward so the outside edges of your feet are the same as the outside edges of the mat. We're gonna reach straight up and then straight down with the uh, fingers right under the shoulders. If that's difficult, take the feet further apart. If it's easy, put the palms down, bring the top of the head down where between the hands is, where the head would drop naturally. You bend the arms back through the legs. We're gonna breathe here. Good, back up, we reach to the ends of the fingers and then behind the back, we'll intertwine those fingers. If you want, uh, if there's tension in the upper back, push the palms together. Otherwise, the part is fine. We're gonna forward fold, lifting the arms up off the back, trying to bring the crown of the head towards the earth. Up again, we touch the ceiling and down again. We're going to grab uh, shins, ankles, or big toes with the peace fingers. No matter what you got to hold up, pull the elbows away from your ears. We are forward folding, so the top of the head is trying to come down basically to, towards the line the big toes would make if they connected. Doesn't mean they'll get there. We're gonna stay down low, both hands over to the right, left shoulder under and through. And over please to the other side, right shoulder under and through. Now let's come up to standing and we're gonna shorten the stance to about three, three and a half feet apart. We're gonna turn the left toes out the back. So we're kind of facing away right toes about 45. We're gonna bring the arms out so we can rotate 
So the shoulders are facing the back of the mat now, squaring. We'll grab elbows behind the back or reverse prayer. Shoulder blades together, we look up, and then we're going to fold down, looking at the left foot into pyramid. You can stay in pyramid or you can change that to warrior three by hopping on to the front foot. You could do Ardha Chandrasana, left hand down, right arm up. You could switch the hands for a moment. And then let's put that right foot back where it was and we're gonna pivot. So left toes are gonna to turn into 45 degrees. Right toes are now pointing out this front. Shoulders are squaring to the front. Behind the back, again, we grab the elbows or reverse prayer, shoulder blades together, we look up. And then we're gonna come down and look at the right foot. And again, you could stay here if you prefer, up on that right foot, where you're three. And you could do Ardha Chandrasana, right hand down, left arm up. And you can switch the hands. Great. Let's stand top of the mat or wherever you can get comfortable because we're going to do a bit more balancing. We're going to do tree standing on the left foot. You can grab the right ankle, hold it up there. You can lock it with a little bit of pushing of the leg uh, so the foot pushes against the other leg. Hands to heart are all the way up. You can also do a leg out in front. We're going to take several breaths right here. Very nice. Let's do the other side of that. Standing on the right, we're going to lift the left. You want to get that lock or however you did it on the other side. Hands of the heart for me up if you like. Right back to standing on the left foot. We're going to lift the right knee up and the right hand is going to grab the right knee, left hand and go on the hip. Standing straight, tall, up and down. If you like, you're welcome to grab the big toe and extend that leg out, but keep that standing straight on the left side. Otherwise, I'm just going to hold my knee. You're welcome to do that as well, either or. And let's open that leg out to the right as we look over the left shoulder. Uh, 
and back to center. Show me the bottom of your foot, the right one. Great, let that down. You can move around a little bit if you like. We stand on the right now, left leg comes up. Same thing, holding the knee or extending with the peace fingers, holding the big toe, but straight up and down on this here right side. We're breathing all the time. We're gonna open that leg out to the left as we look over the right shoulder. Back to center, leg out on its own. Show me the bottom of the left foot. Great. Let's come down just to hands and knees and do a bit of cat and cow. The knees are two fists apart, shoulders over the wrists. We're gonna let the belly drop down as we look up third eye. Breathing out, we're gonna arch the back and up. Uh, just moving and breathing. You can close the eyes if you like. The in-breath is when the belly drops down, when we arch the back, looking at the knees, that's when we breathe out. Excellent, back to center. We're gonna look over the right shoulder and see the tail. And then please over to the other side. And back to center. We're gonna step the right foot up top of the mat. Keep the left knee down. That foot can crawl a little further forward if it feels like there's space for that. And we're going straight up with the arms. We're going to take a couple of breaths here. We let the hips hang down a bit. Good, and let's bring the hands down uh, on the inside. So for me, I need to bring my foot a little further out about an inch or two so that I can keep the knee over the ankle and keep the knee pulling against my shoulder. Now, keeping that in place, you could walk the hands forward and put the elbows down or somewhere in between or just the hands right where they are, right next to the foot on the inside. Good, let's switch. So right knee back, left foot up at the top. Again, arms are straight up. We'll take a, a couple of breaths here with the arms up. Great, and then again, down uh, on the inside. And whatever you did on the other side, yeah, I gotta walk the foot out a little bit for me just to keep the knee over the ankle and be able to keep that leg pulling against the shoulder. Good. 
Let's step all the way back to the top of push-up. Everything tight, we're gonna lower and drop. Up dog and down dog. We're gonna hold the right foot up and the leg. We're gonna open that, uh, pointing the knee up, opening up the hip. And then let's throw that shin top of the mat. We'll crawl that left leg a little back. Could look up at the ceiling. And then hands down, forearms down, head down. Knee on the bent legs outside of the right ribs. We're gonna breathe here. All right, hands at the top of the mat. We're gonna slowly switch it. So we'll step that right leg back. You can shake it a bit if you like. Top of push up, we lower drop, up dog, down dog. I'm gonna hold the left leg up. You can open that knee. And we'll throw that shin through. Right leg crawls back, heart lifting a bit. And then down onto the other side. Breathing here, focusing on the breath. And great. Last time we step back to top of push up. Again, we lower and drop, up dog, and down dog. And then let's sit down. And we're going to straddle the legs out. We're going to breathe in and reach up the center. We're going to breathe out and try to touch the right toes and then back up and then over to the other side. And uh, every out breath on the downward fold as we go back and forth here. Good, let's touch the ceiling. We're gonna hold here for a moment. Excellent, and then arms down, bring the soles of the feet together. We're gonna to pull them in real tight. Left hand grabs the small toes, right hand on top. We're gonna to sit up tall. We could butterfly the legs if you like. Shoulders back, core in. You could keep the legs still. We are attempting, unless we're butterflying, we're trying to have the knees come down towards the ground. That may happen naturally for some of us and maybe not for others.
And we're going to forward fold, pushing the elbows against the legs, trying to get the low part of the sternum or the low part of the heart down towards the big toe. So you got to lengthen out a little bit and we'll keep the shoulder blades kind of pulling back and together. And we're going to breathe here. Great, right. back up. We'll extend the legs out straight in front of us. You could shake them around a little bit if you like. Then with the fingers pointing towards the feet, uh, we're gonna walk the hands back. So the thumbs are kind of pointing towards the tail. Then we're gonna lift the hips up and look at the ceiling. Great, and back down. Let's do our twist, right leg bending, hug it in there close. Left arm grabs that leg, right hand six inches out from your tail, fingers pointing straight on that line away from the tail. Shoulder pulls back and we look at the eyeball line. Anywhere we can do that without turning the neck too much. It's mostly a twist in the torso. Can bring the elbow outside also. We're gonna take several breaths right here. Great, let's do the other side, uh, right leg out, uh, left foot in there, and we're gonna grab the uh, left leg with the right arm, hand behind us, foot in the front, toes pointing to the ceiling the whole time, and we breathe here. Good, back to center, both legs bent. We're gonna bring the arms underneath the bent legs and roll back onto the tail. You can stay right here. You can let go, locking the shoulders back. You could straighten the legs. You can do hands and prayer third eye up to the toes or behind the heads, a lot of work. I'm gonna keep my legs bent, shoulders back, breathing, looking at the feet. Excellent, cross the legs, grab the shins, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna do five, by the way. This is number two, back up. Cross the legs, sit up tall. And number three, up again. Lost the legs, sit up tall. And number four, up. Cross the legs, sit up tall. And uh, last one, up again. Great. 
Great, let's hug the knees in, lie back. We're gonna do bridge or Urdhva Dhanurasana, whichever you prefer. So for bridge, we put the feet down flat, feet and knees about two fists apart, longest finger uh, almost touching the heel. And we lift the hips, tuck the shoulders, intertwine the fingers, push the arm down and the hips up. We're gonna breathe here. Great, back down. You can hug the knees into the chest and bring the forearms and pull them down, bring the nose up to the knees. And then after that, those of you that want to, we're gonna go upside down. We're gonna start with plow, kicking the feet up and over the head, legs in the direction of straight. You can have the hands on the back or fingers intertwined with the arms down. Today, for me, I'm keeping hands on the back. We're gonna take several breaths here. And let's lift the feet straight up into the ceiling. Uh, heavy shoulders, heavy elbows. Try to keep the head light as possible. We're gonna take several breaths here. And we bend the legs, bring the knees down towards the ears, reach back, grab the feet, or just lower down onto your back and grab the feet. Knees in the armpits, we're doing dead bug, the head's down loose. You could stay still or you could rock around a little bit if you like. Excellent, bring the knees into the chest, arms out like a T, we'll take a breath in. As you breathe out, let the knees fall to the right as you look to the left. Right hand can hold the uh, legs down and together if you care to. And we look to the reaching left hand. We're gonna take a few breaths here, maybe a little more. Good, and let's come all the way up and over to the other side, please. Good, back to center, hug the knees into the chest. Thank yourself for coming out. Tell yourself you did a good job. I'm gonna do a five minute meditation, which I'll set us up for. You're welcome to lay down, but I'm gonna do it from sitting myself, which also is great if you wanna do that. I'm gonna sit on a rolled up mat. It, it helps for sitting for longer periods of time. Let me set my timer. Okay. So legs gently crossed, however you can be comfortable for about five minutes. That's why I'm up on the top of the mat. Intertwined fingers, thumbs touching, or one hand on top of the other. The shoulders are back, the core is in, the chin is hanging slightly to the chest. The eyes are gently closed, and we're going to become aware of the body breathing itself. 
We do everything we can to keep our attention just on the body and the body breathing itself. And like I said, we'll be here about well, less than five minutes now. I'm gonna adjust the lights. If you chose to lay down and you want to finish out with this, you can roll up to a sitting if you want to stay laying down because you're comfortable and fine with that. But once sitting, we're going to bring the hands to the heart center, rubbing them together, making a little bit of fire.
All right, we're going to bring the arms up into the sky like a big funnel, receiving all the gifts of the universe. We're going to take a breath into the nose as much as we can get. We're going to breathe in more through the mouth and even more. Hold the breath, tighten core, tighten the legs and lift the floor. And then let everything out. Ah. You're living your dream. Don't miss it. Namaste. Thank you for coming out this evening. It's danieloverberger.com. You could find links to my Venmo and PayPal there. Um, the phone number 5118 is the last four. If you go on Venmo, they might ask for that. Uh, anyone that wants to unmute is welcome to now. I'm putting us. Hang on a second.